Mm. So, my starter beer for today, I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, something I had. This is a new one. It's one I haven't had before, and it's one I haven't brought um, had on the channel. But it's another local beer. Uh, this is from Double Barley Brewing. This is from a town near me called Smithfield, North Carolina. Um, Smithfield uh, in that area, especially in that county, is very big known for like pork production, um, things like that. So sausage, bacon, all the good parts of the pig. If you are a meat eater, all the best parts of the pig. Um, so, but this is from there. It's called Double Barley. This is called... Touche IPA. So it's an India Pale Ale. Duh. And um, let's see some other notes about it. It is 6.8% alcohol by volume. So it's potent. Uh, let's see. I was at a race when Robbie Gordon won. Most people didn't like him. I was super psyched. I was freaking out. I was going to get us killed. <laughs> yeah, I remember the days back when everybody hated Jeff Gordon. He was the big winner. Um especially like in my family who hated him. I don't, don't even want to get me started on that. Um, but let's see. Touche IPA, a heavily hopped American-style IPA featuring five different hops. Well-balanced, easy-drinking beer that pairs well with a variety of foods. This is, excuse me, this is our go-to beer all year long. And I do like this. Touche, an exclamation, touche, number one. In fencing, used as an acknowledgement of a hit by one's opponent. Number two, used as an acknowledgement during a discussion of good, or, uh, of a good or clever point made at one's expense by another person. And my favorite, number three, the brewmaster made this IPA for his wife, Shay. So therefore, this beer is to Shay. Well done. Um, so yeah, let's check out the, the bottle art here. Let's pop this down. Actually, get a good look at it. It's very, very pretty. I like the color palette of uh, the greens and the purples on it. Pretty cool. I like how they turned the hop into the face there. Or fencing with the corset. Everything spilling out over the top. Very, very nice. Oh, mod did get you. There we go. And we go. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, I've been drinking this for a little bit. Um, it's very hoppy. It's definitely got a lot of pininess to it. Um, it's got good color overall. Um, very clear. This is not one that I would chug down. Um, but, again, it's... It's got good body to it. Very hop forward. And then, at the end, a good bit of, of pininess. Uh, to it, so, um, I mean, for lack of a better term, I'd say it's a fairly standard IPA, it's nothing special, but it's a local one, and it's a very well-crafted one, so, um, a good one, very, very easy to drink, and, again, it's not so, so sour that somebody like me is still trying to learn, like, deal with IPAs, um, but again, if you don't really care for sort of that, that bitterness and that hoppiness, not going to be for you because this is very much an IPA. This is a pure IPA, best way to say it. So, good example of one. Very, very good. So, yeah, touche IPA. Cheers. <laughs>